Hello friends and welcome back to The Mothership. Today we are taking some leftover brisket and making the absolute best barbecue burnt ends. Sound good? I know it does. Let's get started. Now what I have here are some leftovers. These are honestly actually a couple months old, put in my freezer. So they are nice and chilly. Uh, this is mostly point, there's a little bit of flat in here. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take these leftover little pieces that I've thrown in and cut everything into kind of cubes. I'm looking for like about one inch by one inch cubes. So I'm like, that looks good to me. Okay, there's a nice little meat mountain. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna toss them into a pan. Now, since these were already cooked, I have you know my standard rub, which I do for briskets, which is just salt, pepper, garlic. So I don't need to add any extra salt to these, but I just wanna get as much as I can kind of filled in here so that all the cracks are kind of filled up, but enough space so that we can get some of our sauce to go on the sides. We are gonna be stirring it up, so not a big deal. Um, some of these little pieces, like I said, are not gonna fit, which is fine, I'm just eat those right now. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and set it aside. Let's get some liquid together to put on top here. Now kind of the method here to make burnt ends is really you're taking all your meat, you're putting it in some sauce, and you are just letting it kind of simmer for a while and uh, just absorb a lot of that extra flavors and really just kind of crisp up and let it keep cooking a little bit further. What I like to do is add a bunch of sugar in here and some more extra fat. For sugar, uh, you're gonna want a little bit of liquid, so I use a soda. Dr. Pepper works great. Uh, Cherry Coke works great if you're going for that flavor. You can really mess around with what you want, but you want some sort of liquid base just to, so it you know, kind of smooths out consistency. But if you're making your own barbecue sauce like I do, um, you could actually add just a little more liquid to that and then just use that. But what I have is actually kind of on the thicker side. I kind of used it more for dipping. So now I'm gonna add in some barbecue sauce. I like to use a sweeter barbecue sauce. You don't wanna use a mustard base. You wanna do something tomato or vinegar based. As far as amounts, I usually don't go with an exact science. I just wanna get, eh, maybe a half cup. And for the Dr. Pepper amount that I did, I have these little tiny cans. They're seven and a half fluid ounces. So I'll just use about half of one of those. So we've got our barbecue sauce. We've got some Dr. Pepper. And then I'm gonna add some rub in. You can use whatever rub you want. I'm gonna use my honey barbecue rub because it adds some sweetness and a little bit of extra flavors. I'm just kinda of gonna go ham in here as well. And then just get everything nice and mixy together. Obviously guys, burnt ends are not healthy. Brisket point is already not healthy and you're just taking it a step further. But it's barbecue, it's not a smoothie. So I'm going to take our brisket and I'm just gonna pour this over on top. If you need more, you just make some more. So I kind of want a little more liquid here, so I'm just gonna double what I just did. There we go. Now that looks good to me. What we wanna do now is get it back on a smoker. I'm gonna run my smoker probably about 250, and uh, that's gonna get the temperature nice and hot, let everything start to start melt together. And as far as timing, you can really go a really long time with these guys. These are already cooked, so we're basically just taking them down further. I'm gonna look for like two or three hours to really let everything come together. But for now, I'm gonna get out there, get the smoker going, and get these on. All right, smoker's up to temperature 250 degrees, and I just threw everything on. As you can see, I also put some butter on. Not necessary, in fact, some people are really against adding extra fat. I'm not one of them. Put some butter on, put some tallow, don't do it, that's fine. I also put a little more rub on here just to get a little bit of extra flavor. And as you can see, I have it on the top shelf. I am going to let this run, like I said, for probably two or three hours maybe. The goal here is just to let everything really, really get to that point where it's just falling apart. And I'll show you what that looks like when we get there. All right, I'll be honest, we're honestly about three and a half hours. I let them kind of run, because why not? But what I'm looking at now, I mean, look at these. Everything is just really soft. You can see everything's just kind of wants to fall apart right there. Look at that. Looks good. Grab another piece. Oh, falling apart. The fat is definitely rendered out on these, and they've absorbed, I'm sure, all of this sweet, delicious flavor. So what you could do is you could just let them keep running. You could put them in a broiler, let them keep running even further. That'll get rid of some more of the moisture. But I think these are probably ready to go. So if you're ready for a party, at this point you could put them in tin foil and just let them sit in a you know oven at like 300 degrees, maybe 250. The point is just to let them keep warm. But I think I'm gonna pull them off because we're hungry and uh, we're actually eating these for dinner tonight. So we got some folks coming over. Let's get these off. I'm gonna give them a try. And then I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my night and you guys can do the same. But, let's take them inside, let's give them the old fashioned chomp dudes. 
Now, obviously, there are two ways to cook burnt ends. Number one, you could take a brisket, you could cook it all the way through, and then at the very end, cut off the point, put it into cubes, and then put it back into your sauce and let it just, you know, render out even further. But that's crazy because when I cook a brisket, I want to eat that point the way it is. So usually when I cook burnt ends, I do what we're doing here, which is I take the brisket, cook it all the way through, take what I want to eat, then I just cut up the pieces, put them in the freezer, and then someday I'll think about it and decide I want to make burnt ends or, you know, sandwiches or something like that. So for these, these sat in my freezer for, I don't know, a couple months, and I took them out, cubed it up, and we did obviously what we did. And we made them into a delicious burnt end. And I gotta tell you guys, I was planning to do maybe an hour, but I let them go for like three and a half. And they are definitely super rendered and super good looking. So, without further ado, guys. This is what we're working with. Oh my lanta, it looks super good. I mean, the smoke ring is from the smoke that we did earlier. It's very, very hot, but let's give it the old fashioned chomp. Mm. Oh my, that is tender. That is super, super tender. Oh my, that is delicious. So when you're doing burnt ends from a cooked brisket, you need to focus on the flavors that you're enhancing. So you don't want to add extra salt. You don't want to add more pepper or garlic if you're doing a traditional Texas style brisket. What you want to do is sweetness. So for me, I like to add a lot of honey type stuff. So my honey barbecue works really well. That's my rub. I'll give you the ingredients down below. But I also like to add in like a lot of barbecue sauce. I like to do my own barbecue sauce, but any commercial barbecue sauce work really well. And you're going to want to add more viscosity, which means more liquid. So like apple juice works really well. I like to use Coke, or in this case, I did Dr. Pepper. Cherry Coke is really good too, but that adds a lot more sweetness and it adds more liquid. So it can, you know, get all over the uh, different pieces of meat in here. And then as far as adding fat in guys, some people don't do it. Some people are huge fans. They put a bunch of tallow and stuff. I do a little bit of butter on top. It's not necessary, I don't think. I think there's enough fat inside of the brisket, especially if you're doing point, where it's really not that important. But most importantly, I like to add a lot of sugar in and let it kind of caramelize in there and just meld in, make delicious food. This is really, really good, guys. Honestly, these are great. I can't wait to eat these, and I'm sure our guests are really gonna enjoy it. You guys should absolutely take your brisket point from your leftovers and turn them into burnt ends. But most importantly, you guys should let me know down below, how do you do burnt ends? Do you usually just cook a whole brisket, then chop it off and do it from that point? Or do you take your leftovers and make something fantastic? Love to hear what you guys do. But most importantly, guys, the most important thing is you cook some absolutely fantastic and you let me know what it is down below. And as always, cook something great, guys. I'll catch you on the next UFO barbecue. Ooh, bye-bye.